How do you find the measure of one of the acute angles of a right triangle when all you know are the side lengths? In other words, what is the measure of angle G? In this lesson, you will learn how to find the measure of an acute angle of a right triangle by using the inverse sine function. Let's review. To remember the ratios of the side lengths that represent the value of each trig function, just remember the word SOKOTOA where so represents the fact that the sine value of an angle can be found by dividing the opposite leg length by the length of the hypotenuse. Ka represents the fact that the cosine value of an angle can be found by dividing the adjacent leg length by the length of the hypotenuse. And Toa represents the fact that the tangent value of an angle can be found by dividing the opposite leg length by the adjacent leg length. Inverse trigonometric functions are functions that undo the trigonometric functions of sine, cosine, and tangent so that the angles that they reference can be isolated. Notice that the notation for inverse trig functions is very similar to the notation of the trig functions that they undo, but they have what looks like a negative one exponent. It is also important to note that the inverse sine is also referred to as the arc sine, the inverse cosine is referred to as the arc cosine, and that the inverse tangent is known as the arc tangent. When the inverse trig functions are applied to the related trig functions, they undo each other and leave behind the angle measure that was referenced. What is the measure of angle A? First, we must pick an appropriate trig function to write an equation. Since angle A is our reference angle, we can see that the side length of 5 is opposite the reference angle and that the side length of 8 is the hypotenuse. The only trig function that works with both the opposite and the hypotenuse is the sine function, so we can write the equation sine of A equals 5 over 8. Next, we must apply the inverse sine function to both sides of the equation to get angle A by itself. Since the inverse sine and sine are inverse functions that undo each other, we can simplify the equation to get a equals the inverse sine of 5 eighths. When we use a calculator to evaluate the inverse sine of 5 eighths, we can see that angle A is approximately 38.7 degrees. Be careful to choose the trig function that best relates the side lengths given to the angle that you're trying to find. Solving a triangle means finding all the side lengths and angle measures for the given triangle. Since we know that we have a right angle and an angle measure of 38.7 degrees, the remaining angle measure must be 51.3 degrees. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we can find the remaining side length as well. In this case, the remaining side length must be approximately 6.2 units long. In this lesson, you have learned how to find the measure of an acute angle of a right triangle by using the inverse sine function.